My name is Jimmy Torres. I'm Cuban. I've been in the United States since 1995. I work for the Vision Service for the Blind, and I came to this country for a better opportunity and to seek freedom. But one day in 2000, uh, 1994, Fidel Castro allowed anyone who want to leave the country to do so. The statistics said that only one out of four people survived. Many of them being beaten and eaten by the shards. Even my family and me saw that scenario, and we couldn't help. We get rescue from the American Coast Guard. It was the most happy day of my life. We was took to Guantanamo base and spent there for six months. I remember one day I saw a guy transmitting information to my country using a watch, very sophisticated watch. So as soon as I get close enough, he punched me so hard. And next time I remember, I was opening my eyes at the hospital in the base. My little brother look answers and ask questions and all the friends that he met at the base and all they told him that guy is in our hands and we will treat you brother like a hero we will grant you brother and your family a visa to the United States so he can be treated a few days after I lost my vision, I will tell you the truth. I did cry. I did get mad with everybody. Even I start questioning God, why he was punishing me that hard? What I did so bad, I feel so frustrated. I clean myself and I say, enough is enough. I have to do something. What I have to do, I don't know yet, but I'm gonna do something. I cannot be here incarcerated. I know came to this country to be inside of a room. So I grabbed the phone and I called a friend. And I asked my friend, do you know how to enroll in a school? And next date, my friend and me went to Miami-Dade Community College. A few days, days later, on my first test, English test, at the computer lab, I hear a machine talking. And the tutor who was helping me with my test tell me there was a computer. And asked me, do you never see a computer before? I said, no. 
we're not allowed to have a computer in my country. And since I came here, I never had the opportunity to see one. Can I see it? Oh yeah, it's just next to you. Just reach with your hand and you will be able to touch it. And that's what I did. I started touching the keyboard, the mouse, the monitor, speakers, the tower. But I think that at that moment, something inside of me said, this is the profession that you should master. I came to visit my brother, Winston Salem. And I'm so glad that I did. I started doing the job on my dreams. But it went far beyond my expectation. I have a case law with 300 clients. Clients that study, work, or are retiring. That they only visit that they sometimes have is the one from myself. Clients that treat me like a family. Okay, okay. And they are so glad that they are learning a new technology. I mean, co 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 cerrarla. <laughs> <laughs> no, I met my half orange in 2007 when I was working for Industry for the Blind. She was my trainer. And we click the first time for the first time. And I'm glad we did because from that relationship, I have my little baby. And he's now two and a half years old. His name is Jimmy Torres, like me. One day I was, uh, when I was changing him, he was about uh, two years old. And he said, Daddy, why you can't see? I said, baby, because my eyes are hurt. Are, I have a condition that I cannot see you. And he said, Daddy, I don't see neither. I want to be like you. I say, no, son, you have to take care of your vision. You have to take care of your eyes. You have pretty eyes. And he said, daddy, he said, yes, son, I like your eyes too. And those little things, you know, make uh, yourself to be more aware, more appreciative. And I think that that was the biggest reward from God, having my son with me. Give me the opportunity to raise him, to show him a good way in a good country. And I'm so glad, I'm so glad, so thankful of having that opportunity. <laughs>